are doing i hope you are doing awesome okay i just wanted to jump in on this camera because i just have a few things to say shout out to dodash toya shout out to tawana nicole okay these are two youtubers that i have been um uh just start that i just started watching not long ago and when i tell y'all they be dropping gems they be dropping gems i love watching dodash because she just tell it like it is um she's so real and she's not sugarcoating nothing she letting us know what's going on where her and her life and she's not afraid to talk about it and i love that for her um I just love to see how she's growing and glowing. Like, it's it's just a beautiful thing. And I know it's nothing but God. And then we have Tawana Nicole. I love watching her because she's so real. And I can tell that um, it's nothing but God for her as well. Like, these are two faith-based channels, two faith-based people that I enjoy watching. And I know it's nothing but God that <laughs> drew me to these people because they showed up on my feed and I was like, you know, let me see what they're talking about. And I love watching them. They're very positive. I love watching positive people. And they're real. Like, they're not sugarcoating nothing. So, some years ago, I was afraid. I was afraid to talk about what I was um, had going on in my life. I was afraid to just, um, you know, basically, like, show you guys or tell you guys, like, what's really going on on in my life i just wanted to keep things private and now it's like i want to share things because i know a lot of us are going through the same things so when i did my video of i'm 40 and i feel stuck that video was for me to just you know talk about how i feel stuck and um the reason why I feel stuck is because I'm not making enough money. And that's that on it. And I don't want to work three jobs like I have done over the summertime. Working um, uh, my regular job and then doing Airbnbs on the weekends. And then doing DoorDash whenever I can here and there. All I'm doing is burning myself out. So I keep telling myself that I just need to... Keep going here on YouTube, keep pushing, keep grinding, knowing that my day will come when I'll be able to put all the jobs aside, no more DoorDash, no more cleaning other people's um, places, Airbnbs, no more working my uh, regular job. Yeah, so this is just basically, you know, a little sit down. I just got out the shower and I, um, I have to go ahead and film, not film, I have to go ahead and edit my video so I can put it out for tonight because I did my fragrance layering combos, uh, fragrance layering combo of the day diaries, and I'm on day, <laughs> on day 27, and um, I'm really proud of myself. I really am proud of myself. Actually, another thing I'm proud of is that I actually went into my analytics and I just seen how my channel grew in the past 28 days. And I've grown 60 subscribers in the past 20 days and 28 days. And to me, that is freaking awesome because I haven't seen growth like that in years at this point. So just knowing that I'm doing what I need to do and I'm putting out uh, uh, content that people want to see and that people are actually seeing and they actually want to subscribe to little old me. I just love it. And it just warms my heart. Like, I'm serious. It warms my heart. I love to see when people chit-chat with me. I love receiving comments. I love to chit-chat back with you guys. That's just my thing. I love to just, you know, give back. Like, you guys are watching. You guys are putting the comments down in the um, comment section. And I don't want to ignore those comments. I mean, I read every single comment. And not only just heart the comment, I like to comment back as well. Because I feel like you guys are my real family and my friends like family and friends over here so yeah so while i've been here in houston texas in this um in this airbnb 
I've been thinking a lot and I'm like, I want to travel so much. I just want to do whatever I want to do. Like, of course, still work by doing YouTube. I want to be a full-time content creator so bad. Like, that's why I'm steady putting in this work so that the Lord will bless me enough. Well, not enough because he already blesses me enough just by waking me up. But that he blesses me financially to be able to just go ahead and retire from the job and just go ahead and put all my effort in my YouTube and just watch it grow and blossom and help so many people. Even if it just help, like even if just one video, each video helps just one person, that's enough for me. But I've just been thinking, I'm like, I could be doing this, like you, you can pick, you can work at any time. Like any time that I'm on a vacation, any time that I'm on, um, like just, you know, anywhere, whether I'm sitting in my car, because I do love to sit in my car and chit chat with you guys. And whether I'm in a new state, a new place, wherever I'm at, I can always pick up my camera. I'm filming on my iPhone 14 Pro Max and I can bring this out anytime. I have it on my um, DJI uh, stabler. I forgot exactly what it's called, but um, it has a tripod and everything, which I use this all the time. But all I'm saying is, is that it don't take much. If we have a phone, that's all it takes. If we have the YouTube app, that's all it takes. If you want to edit, you can actually just go ahead and put your videos together right here and just post it right from here. You don't have to edit if you don't want to. But of course, if you want to edit, then you can do it. And if you have an iPhone, it's very simple. Just go on iMovie and go ahead and do a couple edits. If you want to take out whatever you want to take out, if you messed up on a part and you don't want people to see it, then boom, 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 take it out and go ahead and put it there, like put it on YouTube. We don't have to have thumbnail. Well, we do have to have thumbnails. But you don't have to be that creative with a thumbnail. You can just let YouTube pick your thumbnail, really, for sure. All you have to do is post it on YouTube, like post your video on YouTube, and it will pick like three different pictures, and you'll pick which picture that you want to be your uh, thumbnail. And if not, then you can just go ahead and um, do your research to be creative and go ahead and do a thumbnail. It don't have to be fancy. Just, you know, just do what you want to do, basically. It's all about... YouTube is about the individual person putting out what they want to put out here on YouTube, you know? So, I've just been thinking heavy today, like, girl, this is what I want to do, like, all the time, be able to travel wherever I want to travel at, go ahead and book an Airbnb, a hotel, whatever, go out of the state, go out of the country, all that great stuff. I will be working on getting my passport. I hope to be able to do that. By the end of this year, just go ahead and put my papers in so I can go ahead and get the ball rolling to get my um my passport. Because next year, I do want to actually go on an international trip. Like, I don't want to be, like, saying, oh, I wish I had my passport. Like, no. I want to go ahead and do all of that. But we can't put limitations on ourselves. Because I know I used to always put limitations on myself. I used to say, oh, I don't want a certain type of vehicle. Like what i would always be like i can't afford it i can't afford it i can't afford it like no that's limiting yourself and i do not want to limit myself at all in any area of my life i do not want to limit myself i want to grow in my faith with god knowing you know the bible front to back cover to cover as much as i can before i leave this earth i want to inspire so many people to just go after whatever you wish, desire, dream, have goals, all that great stuff. I want y'all to be so successful, successful, like in whatever you do, whether it's starting a YouTube channel, starting your own business, having a business with a family member, a friend, who, whatever your desire is, I want you to fulfill it. And so I'm working on fulfilling mine. And I've just been thinking about like today, like today's my second day being in Houston and just like being able to just like chill out, not worry about this person or that person. And although, of course, I'm always thinking about other people, but I'm taking out time for myself just so that I can like do like a refresh and also just to take a break because my life has been on go 
go, 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 go for majority of this year. And for these past few months, it's really been on go, go, go. And I'm just like, you know what, girl, you need a break. And I'm so glad that I'm able to take this break. And I know that once I get back from um, Houston, I will still be on vacation. But um, I do know that next month in November for my job, um, that we will be in peak season and this is my last vacation of the year. So I'm just like, okay, it's like when we're at the, at the, at a job, we get so many, you know, we only get, but so many vacations. And if I could work for myself and do what I love, then I wouldn't have to worry about, Oh, well, I only get a couple vacations this year or, you know, a few vacations this year or whatever the case may be. And I only get a few optional days. I only get a few sick days. Like, what if all of that runs out? Then you're just screwed for the rest of the year. And then certain times of the year, I can't even travel if I wanted to because I have to be at my job. Like, I don't want to limit myself. I don't want to just be in a place where I dread going. You know what I mean? And majority of the people that I do work around, they don't want to be there. They dread doing it. They wish they were doing something else. A lot of them are older than me. And they're just like, if it wasn't for, you know, the money, the benefits and stuff like that, I wouldn't be here. And I'm just like, I've already spent 18 years of my life at this job. And I just feel like, I need to just exit stage left. And once I get to that point, I'm definitely going to exit stage left because there's so much more to life than just punching in and punching out and going home, you know, getting whatever you need to get done to go ahead and hurry back to work the next day. Like, it's just so much more to life. So I just wanted to talk to you guys while I was here in this beautiful space, um, and I'm in my comfy attire, y'all. I got my Fenty, my Savage Fenty outfit on, and um, it's a lounge set, like a sleepwear set, and I love it. Um, this is my first time wearing it. I busted the tags off of it, but guess what? I had to put down my subscription. That's another thing. I done cut off, like, majority of my subscriptions that I've had. I had the Savage X Fenty subscription, for the bras, panties, and uh, loungewear, and um, uh, active wear, stuff like that. Listen, my coins are not set up. <laughs> Majority of the months, I was skipping anyway because I can't afford the fifty nine ninety five every every month. <coughs> and then when I forgot to skip, of course they sucked the fifty nine ninety five out. And I had a credit because I didn't even order anything. So I ended up getting this set. So that took care of that. But I'm like, no. I just went on and canceled because I'm just so sick and tired of it. I did my like I did my nails the same way. I took off the jail for my nails because I'm sick and tired of paying all this money every single month. And I love to get my nails done as far as like getting the designs and stuff, not just literally like sitting there and you know, wasting my time basically because I could be totally doing something else. But um I just love like I love um the different designs and stuff like that. And I love my long nails. But I just had to make the choice of doing that for me, just getting rid of it because it's like a lot of expenses that I don't need. I'm already robbing Peter to pay Paul to um to pay bills and you know pay down my debts and all this stuff so it's like yeah i did the nails and get my eyebrows done which i might i still might get my eyebrows done it's not that much i think it's like 10 bucks but i'm not sure or i might just clean them up and that be that because it's just like i'm just trying to elevate myself and elevating on the inside is the majority of what i need to do instead of worrying about the outside and I know that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing what I can, but I don't need to spend extra money 
when I don't even have the extra money to really be spending. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But I just wanted to talk to you guys. And I'm just going to move this camera just a little bit. I just wanted to talk to you guys because I was in the shower. And I'm thinking, like, I need to just talk to, to, to you guys because... I'm just... <laughs> I'm just sick and tired of having limitations. Like, another limitation that I would have is, oh, well, I can't get this. Like, it's, I always was thinking that because of how I, I was brought up, how, you know, like, my parents, they did all that they could do. They worked so hard to afford what we had and... They didn't go out and buy the brand new this and the brand new that and all of that. And, and a lot of times it was because they couldn't afford it. And I don't want to limit myself knowing that there's money to be made out here. I have a monetized channel. I need to go ahead and put the elbow work in so that eventually I will succeed in so many areas like getting a getting a house getting um uh the the dream car or um suv that i that i want so bad and i've never bought a brand new spanking new car like at least once in my life i would love to just buy a brand new car but um I always limit to myself and I don't want to keep limitations over my life. Like, no, like if I want to go to the grocery store, like I've said in other videos, if I want to go to the grocery store and buy whatever I want to without thinking about it, just, Oh yeah, I'm getting them snow crab legs and I don't even eat snow crab legs. I just brought that up just because it's something that's expensive at the grocery store. Oh, I want some lamb chops. Oh, I want, um, some shrimp, some, Whatever, whatever it is, colossal shrimps, it don't matter. Whatever I want to get, oh, I want to buy an abundance of fruit, veggies, all that great stuff. Like, I want to buy other things than, other than getting a great value brand, getting the cheapest brand in the store. No. When I go shopping for clothes or for shoes, don't always go over to the clearance racks. You know what I'm saying? And there's nothing wrong with going to the clearance racks. But I'm just saying, if I don't find anything in the clearance racks and I want to go to the regular sales or just the regular whatever it is, like if it's a $50 shirt, if, if I love it, I'm cool. If I can just whoop, buy it, hey, we can't take the money with us. So I'm just saying, like, go wherever, whether it's going to Ulta and buying whatever perfume I want to buy just because, oh, I want some new perfume. Like, just... I don't want to limit myself with anything. Go test out a car. New car. Brand new car. Oh, that's what I'm driving up. The showroom. I, this is coming right out the showroom. And yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just so many things. Like, oh, I want to book a trip. What? I'm a, I want to be booking two, three, four trips. Okay? Next year. Like, 2025, I just see that it's going to be just a year of a, a, a year of of success a year of abundance a year of just great things going on around me for me and for you too i want to see it for you too i'm just i'm in a different mindset i just want so much i want so much for my life i want to be able to travel wherever i want to travel do whatever i want to do like get on a plane and just go wherever I want to go and just live, just live. Like see all the different places, all the different people that's in the world. I was sitting at the airport the other day and I'm just looking at all these people and I'm like, wow, God is amazing because he made each person different. Like even when you have a twin, you have quadruplets, you have triplets, Every single person has a different set of fingerprints. Nobody's fingerprints are the same. And it's billions of people that live out here in the world. And there's no person that has the same fingerprints. 
there's no person that has the same face even if you are a twin even if you are identical look at t and tamara look at the glam twins here on um youtube both of those uh sets of twins i do believe are identical twins yeah and they're not identical like they have differences you can see clearly see the differences with Tia and Tamara and with the Glam Twins, Kelsey and, oh my gosh, <laughs> Kendra. Kendra and Kelsey. It just shows how big of a God we have, how magnificent of a God we have. It's, it's just crazy to me. So I'm sitting in the airport and I'm looking at all these different people and I'm just looking at how different they are and I'm just like, wow. Like, everybody's different. Everybody's facial features are different. Everybody's body types are different. Like, nobody's the same. And I don't want to be the same as the next person sitting right next to me. Or the same, you know, the next person in the next room or wherever. The next person in the next state. I want to stand out. Be different. But anyway, I'm just doing a whole lot of talking. And I hope that this message gets to whoever it needs to get to. Even if it's different parts of my video. Because I am all over the place with this. So. All I can say y'all. Is that I'm going to keep on. Keeping on. Keep on pushing. Pushing through. Um, Keep grinding. I'm going to keep the faith. Going. Because I know that. God has a better plan for my life. He sees way beyond what I can see, what I desire. And I know that at some point I'll be able to quit my job and do what I love. And I won't stop. I will not stop until that happens. And even when that happens, I definitely won't stop. I'm going to keep going. But I'm just saying, like, I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to you know fall off and all that no no none of that none of that i can't i can't knowing that i'm so close like at any moment my life could change and it, it's always changing like things are always happening but i'm just saying like it it could do like a drastic change like within the blink of an eye but anyway earlier today yeah i think i already talked about that where I shared on my community post because I do love to um, uh, post something on my community post. I love to post positive things there. And today I posted where in 28 days I've done, um, got up over 60 subscribers, new subscribers. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you guys. And um, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna share this with my community because I have a lot of new people on here. And of course my oldies but goodies on here as well but it's good to share like what's going on my analytics now i haven't um and i should have shared that too like the coins that um that has increased and it it's done increase i forgot what's the percentage but it's it's up there um because when i wasn't posting hardly anything i'm making sense today and still i've been making sense today but with the one video that um, has over 1,700 views, it gave me some dollars in a day. And that was freaking awesome. So I'm trying to keep up the momentum. Not I'm trying, but I am keeping up the momentum um, with just making sure that I'm putting out videos. And I definitely want to put out good quality content so that I can, you know, keep bringing in the people keep being pushed out by youtube and by of course by the viewers because of what you guys watch so it all works together y'all it all works together but yeah um i'm not giving up i don't want you to give up i want you to keep pushing whatever you're going through know that it's only for like this time like right now whatever you're going through it's not gonna last always when it rains and pours, best believe it's going to sunshine. We're going to see a rainbow, all of, that, all of that great stuff. It's not always going to be, like, we're not always going to be stuck. We're not always going to be broke. We're not always going to be tired. We're not always going to be sick. We're not always going to be, you know, going through things. 
and that's really it y'all i love you guys for watching i hope you guys um goodness if you are a new viewer i hope that you you know stay around put hit that subscribe button subscribe to my channel and of course you know hit that notification bell if you want to i'm not gonna press you to hit the notification bell because i know how i am about notifications so i'm not gonna say oh yeah girl or boy go ahead and hit that notification bell so you, you never miss another video i'm not gonna always say that because i don't always do that myself so but of course if you enjoy my content if you enjoy my personality all that great stuff then boom hit that subscribe button and share 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 this video with any and everyone that you think would enjoy this type of type of content and make sure that you are chit chatting down below because i love the chit chat with each and every one of you guys i'm gonna give you a big big hug mm, 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 and i'm squeezing so tight okay all right y'all i love you guys for watching i'm gonna catch you guys in my next video